Hello world, this is Dennis and I got a new video for you today. Um, trying out a new SDR program. Uh, this is SDR console and boy was this a pain in the butt to get this to work with my RTL SDR. Um, I, <laughs> it took me several tries to get this to work but uh, it's finally up and running and um, it, this is a really nice program. I'm really enjoying it but after using this for a while, I have come to a realization that my RTL SDR is, it's, it's so, so, it works alright for most applications, but I think what I'm going to do is eventually upgrade to an SDR play. But, um, for now, I'm just going to show you how this, uh, how this is working out for me. Um, I like the layout. This is, uh, really nice. I like all the options you have here for the different modes. You got, oh wow, you got um, L, lower sideband, upper sideband, um, double sideband, and you got wide lower sideband and wide upper sideband on all these other stuff and all these filters to play around with. There's there's a lot to play around with uh, on this program. Um, all kinds of options and stuff, which, like I said, this took me a while to <laughs> figure out all of this out, but... Uh, once I finally got this up and running, I've been uh, I've been pleased with this. Um, haven't used it long enough yet, though, to you know decide if I like it better than HD SDR or, or SDR Sharp. But uh, so far, I'm quite enjoying it. But uh, it's uh, it's quite nice. Let me uh, turn up the volume here so you can uh, listen to uh, what I'm listening to right now. CQ, 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 North Carolina QSO party, Kilo 8, Alpha Charlie, at Uh, Victor Echo 3 again. Victor, Victor Echo 3 in Hotel Mike, and I did get the last flower in place, and I see a 160 antenna broke, and, uh, uh, the reflector off my two element 80 meter beam broke. So we got the reflector back up. So this is now a two element beam again. Oh, you get getting ready for a main time pass. Yeah, in March. Oh, we'll have a good wind or ice storm between now and then. Probably. That's when we usually have it. It's in March. So anyway, we didn't get the one. This thing's got uh, great sound to it. Um, like I said, I haven't used it long enough to, you know, to form a cr concrete opinion of it, but this may replace HD SDR as my uh, favorite SDR program. Uh, let's see here, let's uh, find uh, an AM broadcast to listen to. Um, there. Oops, wrong one, wrong one. Still getting used to this thing. music here tonight. WTWW is not on. WTWW is not here. Nope. No WBCQ there. Yeah, WBCQ has not been coming in too well lately. Although, um, Friday night after 7 o'clock it was still coming in pretty good on 7490. But uh, about, I would say, halfway through Alan Wiener Worldwide, it just faded out. And overall today, propagation has been really weird. Um, especially, like, on 40 meters, I would hear a station coming in strong for, like, maybe a minute or so, and then all of a sudden, it was gone. So it's been a real screwy day for propagation. Uh, here's uh, another WDCQ, if you can see it. Uh, 
see, that's why I have a problem embracing the the doctrine of. If anyone could uh, tell me in the comments below how I can get, you know, the main frequency that I'm listening to to center here, I'd appreciate that. Because that, that's the nice thing about um, HD SDR, it can grab like this here and then slide it over, and then the frequency I'm listening to is centered on the screen. Whereas right now to center it, I would have to play around with this. There we go, now it centers it. So. I haven't quite figured out how or what the setting is for getting the, the frequency of the center here on the screen. But uh, yeah, like I said, overall I'm quite enjoying the SDR console and uh, hopefully in a little bit, a couple days or a couple weeks or so, I'll begin uh, SDR play and give that a try, see how that works out. Get to use uh, SDR Uno, see how that program runs. So. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and as always, peace and all that good stuff.